Okay guys, we're going on the throttle body injection heads with uh, 194, 15. The only thing I did is I did some quick and easy chamber shrouding, deshrouding. I brought it out to about the gasket line of a 350 gasket. It's a little on the sloppy side for me, but because it was uh, done at a uh, high rate of speed, meaning I needed to get it done quick. Very busy day. So let's see if uh, now remember this is been I changed the chamber quite a bit, right? And it's a lot more deshrouding with the smaller valve. Now in reality, this part is not over as much as when I plunge cut it. Okay, our liquid. Notice we don't have a big splatter on that corner anymore, right? And we have some over on this wall, not much. It actually looks like a lot less on that wall than we had before. Let's take a look at the bore. Okay. You can see the progression in the, in the chamber is a little bit different. Chamber, the bore. Okay, the valve looks like it's got less on it than it had the first cut. I did put an edge on that uh, exhaust valve, so we don't have that. We don't have the uh, leakage that we had the first time around. So factor that in when you take a look at the flows. Okay, the the liquid looks pretty good inside the bowl. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, this doesn't really look much different. Focus. Okay, you can see the liquid progress right from the, the top of the bowl all the way to the edge of the chamber. Okay, we'll take a look at our second cut flows. The only thing that I changed is I did the chamber. That's it. Nothing else. Did it like it or did it was it a failure? Well, these pluses and minuses are against our first cut. So what do we got? We got a minus, minus, relatively small, plus, 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 plus. Some of these pluses are actually pretty big. 0.25. We went from 159.5 to 165.2. Went up 6.9 on 300. That's a big jump. And all of these are ahead, except when it gets to 700. By the time it's that high, the shrouding doesn't matter as much because it has uh, more area to get around. So it's the same at 700. It actually goes down a touch at 800, but it's got a fatter curve. So I like it better. Now, like I said, I didn't, that's not deshrouded to the point that I would deshroud a, a 205.5. <coughs> All right, let's look at the swirl. Okay, the swirl is comparing these numbers to these numbers. So these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. It's really interesting what happened. Look at it knock down the swirl, right? By, by opening up that chamber a little bit more, it knocks down the swirl up until 0.35, and then it goes up, and we just go down a little bit at, at the end. I actually like this curve better than this curve. I like it that this is very, relatively low in here, and then cranks up. Okay, first, uh, first cut, second cut. How'd we do? Well, the pinch got a little bit faster, and stayed the same on the floor. All right, how about the roof? Well, the roof radically changed. Look at how much of a difference it changed. Why? Probably because it's able to get rid of, let's take a look. I think this part of the port now can get rid of the air easier into the chamber than we were before. Okay, so that's why that changed. I do think it's interesting that the... Uh, the second cut went down that much on the roof. That's really strange. 
I mean, if they, if we, they're both taking at 500. This one's moving 233. Yeah, this one's moving 228. They're relatively close at that point. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, and as far as our short side, 331, 331, that stayed the same. We lost a little bit in the middle of the short side, and we gained a little bit on the other side, but it's relatively even across that short side. That's working pretty good, considering the work we've done on it. All right, let's take a look at our exhaust port and see if that had as, uh, as big a, a difference as our intake port. Okay, second cut is on our left. So these pluses and minuses are in reference to our first cut here. Not all a winner. Let's take a quick look at how I deshrouded that exhaust. Okay, I did knock this ridge down a little bit, kind of like a DV's uh, scavenge plateau. And I moved this wall a little bit. It's not even all the way to the gasket line. Because it's only a 1.5, you don't really need to go that much bigger. And as you can see, when we take a look at the flows, it's hit or miss when you deshroud an exhaust. So we've got loss, loss, loss. Are they big losses? Eh, they're not bad, but they're still losses. And we've got two pluses, a minus, plus, plus, plus. Are the pluses big? Not really. And when you put a pipe on it, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to say it was a slight win. You let me know if I'm right or wrong. Let's go take a look at the air speeds. The air speeds tell us a lot. Okay, second cut is on top. Take a look what we got from left to right. We got plus, but only one equals minus. All right, the floor really died. The middle, minus, minus, minus. Dead on the floor. Even dead right in the middle. On the right, minus, minus, minus. According to the, our air speeds, it, it's, the whole thing is a, is a negative. But at 500, this was flowing 171.2. And this one was flowing 169. They're almost like almost the same. So deshrouding that exhaust was not not a big uh, addition. A couple CFM here and there, but remember, it's a smaller valve. It doesn't need it. It does. And then you have to think about all right, is that little bit of flow worth the compression loss? It's a really good question, actually. Usually, I don't mind chopping the chamber if if the flows really go up i mean i've done that in real life uh real live engines and uh i liked it with the uh with the chamber cut lost a little compression gained a bunch of flow ran better if anyone else has similar uh, or opposite uh, experiences let us know in the comments all right guys you can see I, I didn't change anything in the bowl whatsoever. It's exactly as it was. All I did is I took, I changed this chamber shape a little bit. Now you have to remember too, like this piece is much further away than when you put the 2055 in there. Let's compare those two valves next to each other. Okay, you can see how much room we have, right? Between uh, the 194 and the wall now. Okay. The 2055 is much tighter. So let's take a look at the, the first one we did, and we'll we'll you can notice I'll put the 2055 in that one and we just see the difference. Okay, noticeable, noticeable difference. Okay, this is deshrouded quite a bit more. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna take a break on these for a day or so. I don't know. The trouble is I'm trying to get ahead a couple days uh, because it's going to be so busy. I'm going to try to get ahead on my videos, but uh, not sure where I should go next on this, on these. Um, still a lot of work just to cut these for a bigger valve. I still want to, 
I still want to flow this one with a, without a back cut, do a video on that. And I want to cut these for 202.16s, I think. Pretty much the way they are. All right, guys. So you get an idea what I'll be up to in the next couple of days. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.